So you're just going to sit in my setup part. Okay. It's your girl Stylist Raven here and if this is your first time to the channel I'm gonna ask you guys to go ahead and like hit the subscribe button and share this video make sure you comment down below because I'm always chatting with y'all love to chat with y'all happy 2020 and today is all about fashion I just thought it'd be pretty cool to bring you guys um, one of my favorite designer shoe collectors I absolutely never have any complaints about these um, shoes his bags um, that's pretty much what I buy accessories stuff like that however for some designer heels I can definitely say um, yeah I have no complaints when it comes to comfort and style so without further ado <laughs> here we go all right Harp, you gotta go to your spot okay because he all up in my area I like to keep all my shoes in its original packing. I know some, some people like to pull them out, put them on display. I don't like my shoes getting dusty, dirty, anything. I like them in there with their original dusters. So, yeah, Virgo things, I'm just, I get a little anal. Y'all, my phone just keep going off, so let me go ahead and turn it off. So very first up, it's gonna be this one. And I'm trying to, if y'all see me looking off to the side, it's because I'm looking to see what box they came out of so I can tell you the name of the shoe. So this one is my Caroline. Um, it's a reflective silver leather. It's a 105 millimeter heel. This, I have to say, is probably my fave. Um, this was like one of my must-haves. I know that Christian Louboutin, um, or Louboutin, or however y'all want to say it, he actually has reflective heels as well. He has like a, um, a blue, or orange, I think a green, I'm not sure. However, um, these, to my knowledge, I had prior to those even coming out. Um, so these right here for me, I think are very sleek, very sexy, very comfortable. I wear these with a dress. I wear these with jeans. These just pair well with anything. I think this is definitely a staple piece that you should most definitely have um, in your your collection I love I mean it's probably just very small detail and you guys can't see it but there's like a little V right there at the top and when you have your your foot in it's just it just gives like that little that little extra it is pointy toe so if you feel like you have a wide foot I have a wide foot I got these in a 39 um, and I don't have any complaints like I don't have any issues with my toes unless like it's when I put an acrylic on my big toe and they do it too long okay so next up is the, is it Aurelia? 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 It's rose gold and crystal, 105 millimeter on the heel. Um, these I recently got, oh, I got some fuzz on. I recently got these and I love this. It has like the little Giuseppe on the detailing here. Um, the PVC right in here in the rose, like the rose gold PVC in the rose gold detailing here lined in rose gold crystals y'all this this is for a mule or a sandal or whatever you want to call it this is like a must-have it's comfortable it's not on a like a pointed typical mule heel so it's more of a block heel um which block heels are, are kind of like we're in for 2021 and 2022 so far so that's definitely another shoe that i think you can you can get um honestly you can dress this one up or dress it down me personally i might be a little extra i wear these on like my typical days <laughs> i wear these with something after five ish i wear these with jeans um i've worn it with a comic a kimono and jeans um so yeah th these are like y'all i'm not showing you shoes that you can't wear day to day to day i wear my shoes day to day so next up is the danae and this one has the pvc Y'all, I literally just took it out of the bag. So if y'all see any fluffing or anything, don't pay any mind. Uh, I just dropped the box. 
This is Crocodile Leather 105 millimeter heel. Of course, the classic Giuseppe Zanotti underneath the heels there. As you guys can see, I do wear my shoes. Like I told you, I haven't really worn these too many times, but I definitely wear my heels, okay? Um, I absolutely love this on the foot. The PVC um, in the croc, like you still see it because it's lined in the, the, the leather around the PVC and the croc, this is just a sassy, bossy, I, I say this is like my bossy shoe, like you put it on when you want the illusion of a heel but you still want the mule, like that's, like that's just what it is. This is the Dulcina, right, again. Absolutely fell in love with this color. I think they had another color too, but this one's a little dirty because I just recently worn it, but y'all don't judge. I just gotta clean it off. Um, this is the Crocodile Pink Leather. This one is a 85 millimeter heel. August, I don't even know why you just burst in here because he chewed through my um, Chili Pepper heel by, Gis by Giuseppe, so I won't be able to show y'all that one today because it's still at the Cobbler's stop. Um, and that, that one is just, I love that heel, okay? And August chewed it. So they're repairing it for me. My next one is, so the thing I like about this one, if you have a wide foot kind of like I do, um, I was able to adjust it in the toes and across, um, the straps here. Because one thing about, like, his shoes, uh, August, you have to go. I don't know why your daddy let you in here take me. Just almost knocked my camera over. Come on. Shut up, Harper. Go ahead. Mm. Mm. Harper, shut up. Just take it completely out. If y'all are a pet mom, then y'all definitely understand. Okay, so with some, sometimes with his shoes, um, the straps across can run a little on the narrow side, okay? Um, we're talking about designers, so y'all know this, this is how they do. Um, however, this shoe, y'all look at this shoe. Look at this shoe. This one is reptile. I don't know if it's python, I don't know, but it is definitely snakeskin. Has a silver he silver heel. Um, I mean, this just this just looks bad on. Okay, we have the Adela Trio, or maybe a Adela Trio. I'm gonna say it the same way either way. Um, so for a lot of my shoes, y'all, I have matching bags, or I have a bag from Giuseppe that actually matches the shoe. I just didn't pull those out because I didn't want this video to get too lengthy. If y'all know what I mean. Um, so this is this pump. Go ahead and take that in. <laughs> take it in. Okay, let's get into this first and foremost. 105 millimeters on the heel. It's red suede. It's leather. And it's python. All in one. I don't know if y'all can see the detailing in this. Even the inside, y'all, is lined in the python. Let me tell you, when I, I, I this is one of those, no matter where I go, when I wear this heel, I'm turning heads. I mean, typically with all his shoes, but I'm, I'm telling y'all, I've worn that one before. I've worn it out, and it's so comfortable. I've worn it out, I've worn it to games, I've worn it to church, I've worn it in <laughs> jeans. Um, I don't know, y'all, like, it, it matches with way more than what you think. Um, you know, you pair this however you want. You pair it, of course, with a solid. Um, you can pair it with a print if you're that that bold. Just whatever. Is this the Electra? This is an animal print. It's crystal and pony wedge. I have this one in a 39. Most of my shoes are a 39. This one I did get in a 39 and a half because when I got in the 39, um, because the toe is so pointy, I needed the 39 and a half. It fit. But I just needed it for that extra because I knew that was a shoe I was going to wear. So this one wraps around the ankle. That crystal, y'all. 
it's probably not showing up on camera. So the only only complaint I have about this, because this is a wedge, it's super com comfy. Like I said, I have a wide foot and this part here does not stretch. So that would be like my only complaint, but that is a mild complaint um, for a bomb ass shoe. Y'all, some of these names. Okay, so this is the Katia or Kat, Katia. I don't know. It's in tan. It's 105 millimeter. This is snakeskin. This is a 39. So this shoe here, um, I tried to wear it. The shoe fits. Looks very cute on. It straps up around the ankle like the whole thing. You can kind of bring it up and down. Um, the only thing is the double right here. It is so, it's just painful on my pinky toe. So I tried to give this to my daughter. Um, who has a much narrow foot and she complained about the same thing. So I think This might be a giveaway piece. I'm not sure. I don't know I might give this away because maybe it might bless somebody But I'm not sure because my mom wears a seven and a half, but y'all know designer shoes run Small so maybe she can fit it. Not sure. Um, I'm typically an eight to an eight and a half most of my designer shoes, I'll buy a nine just because they run small um, and they're not really true to size. Next up, so I actually bought two of these. I gave one to my mom. Um, this one is a 39 and a half. This shoe, when I first saw it on, I wanna say I saw this one on Instagram before I even saw it on the website. I immediately fell in love. Um, it is a mirrored, it's a purple mirrored leather. Um, and this is the Aretha. I personally did try to stretch these myself and it just, they wouldn't stretch even though they were real leather. So I sent them off to the cobblers and had them stretched and I have no complaints about them. I'm now able to like wear them longer time. So a lot of times y'all, sometimes you just have to customize your shoes to fit you. Um, just like you would with jeans, clothes, anything else, okay? Next up, this is like, I would say this is one of my true classic um, shoes. Um, I have the bag, of course, to match this one. Same detailing with the first one. This is the Caroline and this is Crocodile and this is Black. You never go wrong with a black pump, but you never go wrong with a textured but classy black pump. Y'all, this shoe is so bad. Chick like Boss Vibes, Boss Vibes, Boss Vibes. I always love how um, Giuseppe lines the inside, you know, with the same material. It just, it just gives for like that ultimate. When I pull my shoes out the box, I'm excited to wear my shoes comfortable no complaints um of course you get taps in with all your shoes so if you wear your taps down if you're bow legged like me you wear your taps down that's just part of it so this one was another one oh my god look i'm smiling and blushing this one was another one that i absolutely fell in love with but i saw it on the website this was the cahill this is the traditional cahill so they this one was so popular they released it in multiple colors they had like white i think red just whatever um i don't know if he put texture to them or not but y'all y'all look at this this is a patent leather golden metal jewel anklet and it is a sandal this is oh my god this is i would definitely say this is like a formal wear shoe um if you want to dress it down, you can, but with something this gorge, I just don't see why. Um, I love this, even on the side right here, it just kind of hooks. If y'all can see that, there's a hook, right? And that's how you hook the, oh, oh what did I do? Oh, okay. That's how you hook the um, thing around here, and it's, the chain is long enough to adjust it if you have a thicker ankle um because you have thicker calves like myself or if you are plus size like myself then you can definitely adjust this to get 
the shoe to fit. This is this shoe is comfortable. I have no complaints. Like I told y'all, I think that's why instead of making this haul like multiple designers because I have multiple designers and I'm not saying that they're not comfortable to wear and stuff like this but this is my absolute most comfortable shoe line um, I do have a boot that I'm not going to actually show here I've given it to my daughter um, it's actually like a boot it has the lamb fur or the shearling should I say the suede uh, it's if I remember correctly it's tan black tan and black so it's um, it's suede the, the, the tan is suede the black is the leather it has black laces um, and then the shearling out the top has a black block heel um, so it's more like it gives you like Timberland vibes or Ugg vibes or stuff like that it's that type of boot I gave that to my daughter if I have a picture of it in my invoice history I'll definitely insert it for you guys um, last but not least this was probably my very first um, Giuseppe purchase and this was the Cruel. If y'all remember this one was released and it came out in a heel and it came out in the sandal. Um, I wanted, because this shoe was so expensive, I wanted to have it where I can wear it the most um, often. Not saying the others don't cost a coin because they do, um, but this one, my baby. <laughs> This one definitely cost um, because this one had a lot of popularity to it. Um, and this is the Cruel, so I, I have no complaints about this sandal. I've actually just got it redone um, because that's how much I was wearing these sandals. These were like my go to the grocery store, go run errands, go, you know, like whatever the case, this was my sandal. So it has the double strapped, strapped heel. It's black suede and gold, the gold metal. This is the Cruel. Um, the black suede on all the straps that's pretty much how the shoe goes that's how it looks right y'all can see that silhouette and then my most recent purchase would be and I have no clue how to say this so I'm gonna say violin ankle so this one is leopard print vinyl and blue crocodile print. This is an 85 milliliter heel. I usually wear a 39 in Giuseppe. Um, I didn't go with a 39 and a half just because the toe on this was so pointy and it had the crocodile there so I knew that wouldn't stretch. So I went up a size and a half. So I actually got these in a 40 which would be a US 10. Of course it's too big for me but I don't care because it gives my toes like my toes will be about here ish so they're not cramped inside the boot if that makes sense if you know then you know okay um because there is absolutely no way your toes are gonna fit in in something that narrow so um that was just the wise thing to do these are so oh my so freaking comfortable they do have the uh the holes right here i don't know if y'all can see them here on the side, you get one, two, three, four, five holes there to allow your foot to breathe. I have had no issues um, with this shoe fogging up on me, but it is winter time and it was fall time, I think, when I got these. They also have another one that's taller. I was afraid to get it because my calves, I've always had big calves, and so I'm not sure if it's big calf friendly or not. So if any of y'all, y'all have that one, let me know. But that's the one in purple. And I think it's like uh, the leopard spots are like somewhat brown, but this is so sassy because on here they're they're brown as two. You just kind of can't see because of how I'm holding it, right? Can you see it now? There you go. This at blue is my favorite color, so I was not gonna let this one pass out. It's a cute ankle boot. It's not hard to unzip or hard to get into. You would think because it's the PVC. Um, type shoe that it, you know those typically run small anyway and so you're gonna think that it's pretty hard to get into I don't know if it's just because I bought it in a 10 and I I wear a uh, eight and a, a eight to eight and a half and I bought this shoe basically instead of getting a, a nine I did a whole size up from that so um, it's not floppy on my foot anything like that but it does give me room so that my toes can fit in here. It doesn't even look that long on once I put the boot on. And there was a blue crocodile purse 
um, that Giuseppe did just release and it's kind of like it's not an over oversized bag but it's definitely um, a different size bag and I bought that with this bad ass to the bone I wore that to a comedy show one night I've worn it all for date nights like yeah this is one I could wear if I was going to, to a job anything some jobs but whatever the case I throw this on this is this is just a bag. You wear it with some tights, you pair it with some jeans, you wear it with a cute like little leather skirt, you put whatever, a dress, um, a sweater dress, like this, this boot, it, it is all purpose. So I hope that you guys actually liked my Giuseppe Zanotti shoe collection. These are all the shoes I actually own by Giuseppe. This is my all-time favorite designer as far as style and comfort for the foot. Um, true to size on the shoe sizes you really can be really true to size like I said in this one I just went up um, a half a size so this is probably the only one I have in a 39 and a half and this is the only one that I bought um, like actually a whole size um, bigger to a size and a half I really probably didn't have to go that big but I did just to be on the safe side and I did it and it fit perfectly instead of me getting it shipping it back and <laughs> getting another one to try it on shipping it back so i'm glad i went with my first um, mine on this so you guys comment down below which one you guys think is your all-time favorite out of this if you're familiar with the brand if you're not familiar with the brand let me know if y'all would love to have this one as a giveaway um and if so just comment um giveaway down below um i'm late filming this and i love y'all gems Thank you. Make sure to subscribe and like this video. Let YouTube know that y'all like the content I'm putting out for y'all, okay? Bye. Hey, Gems. It's your girl, Stylish Raven here. Thanks for watching my video today. Make sure you check out my previous video. And most importantly, do not forget to subscribe, okay? If you're new to my channel, become fam. Click subscribe and follow me on my social networks. Bye.